Well, good morning, everybody. Um, welcome to what I think everybody's going to agree is an incredibly exciting day. Uh, my name is Bob Crum. I'm the executive director of your Hampton Roads Planning District Commission in the Hampton Roads Transportation Planning Organization, and I couldn't be prouder than to stand here uh, before you today to kick off this event on what we think is just an incredible uh, celebration uh, for all of Hampton Roads and today uh, the, the southwestern uh, portion of, of the Hampton Roads region. Uh, really excited to be here today to talk about our broadband project, your broadband project for that uh, represents a collaboration between the city of Suffolk and Southampton County and Isle of Wight County, and Charter Communications, and the Department of Housing and Community Development, uh, DHCD. Um, you know, what's really exciting about today is this shows what happens when we do what we do here in Hampton Roads. We cooperate, we collaborate, and with the help of our critical state partners, uh, what we're about to break ground on today is a $35 million broadband fiber project uh, that when complete is going to serve about 12,000 homes, businesses, churches, schools with last mile service. Um, this is what we need. I, I think the last couple of years have really showed us we all knew uh, about three, four years ago that broadband was important. Wow, we had no idea, did we? <laughs> and how much the world has changed. And if we're going to compete economically, we just know that this is the type of um, project and collaboration that we need to continue to move forward as a region. Um, as a regional guy, I'm really excited about this because it was just April 6th where with our partners of the five larger cities um, in the western part, uh, or excuse me, the eastern part of the south side, we broke ground on a regional fiber ring. And now here we are, right? And we're gonna build um, over 2,000 miles of fiber here in these three local governments. When you add it to the south side fiber ring, that's the construction of over 2,300 miles of fiber in the south side of Hampton Roads. Uh, that all is gonna happen in the next three years. So um, really, really exciting. Before we get going though, th this doesn't happen without collaboration and there's just so many people here that I, I wish I had time to recognize, but I know it's hot, we're gonna go very quickly, but just very quickly, um, if you're a local elected official, would you mind standing a second, either for our three localities or other localities that are here? First thing I wanna say is thank you, uh, Mayor Duman and others. I mean, th your leadership is what make these these things happen and we're going to hear from some of you a, a little later but I just want to recognize our our local elected officials our state leaders delegate Brewer I know is in the front row I see delegate Davis there could be others but our, our general assembly members will hear from a couple of you a little later would you mind standing and just to be recognized thank you so much um, you know, the, the, the work of DHCD and the help on this project has been ongoing. We couldn't do this without the state resourcing this body program and moving this money uh, to us. So we, we, are, we are really uh, appreciative of, of, of your state leadership. And I know that our um, congressional reps are in session, but we have a couple um, staff representatives. Would you mind standing, please? So... You, 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 I, I think you know these folks, they're with us all the time, but this is what happens when you, you get an infrastructure package, it's bipartisan, the money's starting to flow down through the states and, and end up in communities such as this. So, so thank you so much for that leadership. And then if you can bear with me a second, you know, it, we're going to break uh, the ground here today, but this doesn't happen with hard work. And there's been a staff committee that Elmore, I think, I know you know, and I know other city managers and county administrators know, these folks have been meeting weekly, three to four times a week. Uh, just a couple people I wanna recognize. Don Robertson from Isle of Wight County, their deputy county administrator, Don. Uh, Randa uh, Guyton from uh, the city of Suffolk. She's been with Regina Chandler. And Randa, thank you for getting this all set up for us today. Uh, Ashley Covington from Southampton. Uh, so I'm a little biased, but John Harbin from HRPDC, man, thank you um, for, for all the work you did and, and, and the coordination. And, um, and, and Eric Collins, you know, you and your team, for, and you're going to have the podium, but thank you. So 
I got to tell you, a lot of hard work. Um, I'd pop into those meetings from time to time. They did the heavy lifting. A lot of hard work and a little bit of pizza got them here today, right? So I, I found out with that group that nothing they couldn't solve was some good pizza. So they that they they really really worked to to, to make to make today happen. So um, just to move this forward a little bit, I, I think we're all aware of just how important this is to, to our economic competitiveness, our quality of life. Um, but I thought it'd be better for you to hear for some, from some of our partners. So um, I'm gonna ask Eric Collins to come on up from Charter Communications. Um, I don't believe our DHCD rep has been able to make it yet, Rand, is that correct? Okay, so we'll go to DHCD if, if, they're, if they're able to make it. But Eric, why don't you come on up and talk about the, your, your company's perspective, okay? Thanks, Thank Sean. you. Thanks, Bob. Thanks, everyone, for taking time out of your busy schedule this morning to be with us. Um, what a difference a month makes. Um, this was actually scheduled last month, and it was storms, and at the last minute, the morning of, we had to cancel. But it's turned out to be a beautiful day and uh, we're so glad that you could be here with us. In the way of a kids program from many years ago that my kids watched, Mr. Rogers, and I take a quote from what he says, what a wonderful day in the neighborhood to be able to see the fiber and uh, actually our construction teams over here. So it is a, a great time uh, to be with the localities here. Again, my name is Eric Collins. I'm proud to be here to represent Charter Communication. Charter is at the intersection of technology and entertainment, connecting more than 32 million households and businesses across the nation. This includes more than 80,000 customers in 45 communities here in Virginia. And what, as, as, as we ponder and look over the last two years, the one thing that we know is that every American deserves access to reliable high-speed data and broadband. As one of the country's top-rated rural internet service providers, Charter Communications is committing to be a part of that co comprehensive solution needed to expand access to broadband. Uh, today's announcement represents a piece of our efforts to close the digital divide and empower the communities to harness the promise of digital opportunity. And it wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for our partners and our localities. Um, I want to give a special thank you to the city of Suffolk, all of White County in Southampton County, and as uh, Bob had stated earlier, as well as Hampton Roads Planning District Commission. Uh, he's introduced those, but I do want to add one caveat to that with John Harbin. Um, if you get three localities and a provider together, uh, I don't know if you can imagine how all of us have opinions on things. John was able to harness and bring us all together to promote a boisterous application to DHCD for this Vati Award. So, John, thank you very much. A A project of this magnitude also requires partnership and cooperation. And uh, we I would like to just appreciate the support of Dominion Energy. Do we have a representative from Dominion Energy? Thank you. As well as Community Electric and also the Virginia Department of Transportation for working alongside of Charter to ensure that we're connecting your communities with urgency. We'll get to the urgency in a little bit. Each day without connectivity goes to show that those who have service and those who are unconnected. Charter's committed to keeping our promises with construction already underway. Um, as a lot of the residents in, our, in the community have seen, they've seen our construction workers out and they've seen folks coming by doing ride out. The project is expected completion of about 36 months uh, from the date of the sign-in of the contract without any excusable delays. Uh, once completed, as John stated, we're going to be connecting more than 12,000 currently unserved locations, including 170 businesses and community anchors. We'll finally gain access to high-quality products and services and customer-friendly policies. The work to close the digital divide really doesn't stop there. It, stops, it starts also 
with affordability, safety and security concerns, and digital literacy. Chart has a proven history of addressing these challenges through our Spectrum Digital Education Grant. Our Digital Education Grant is to support key nonprofit organizations uh, that educate community members on the benefits of broadband and how to improve their lives and affordability focused on products and services. I'm proud to say for most recently the Charter launched Spectrum Internet 100, uh, high speed internet low cost for households qualifying for the affordable connectivity program. So we're very excited about that. In conclusion, um, my, uh, my co-workers hear me say this, uh, this is something that was given to me a long time ago is speaking events. Short visits make long friendships. So it's gonna be short. I'd like to thank again, uh, Hampton Roads Planning District Commissions, City of Suffolk, all of White County and Southampton County. Thanks for taking charge and understanding the impact that the digital divide in their communities and working with charter towards a solution to get there. So I thank you with that. At this moment uh, time, what I would like for each of the uh, localities that's going to be speaking to come forward with me here. The Honorable, Honorable Michael Duman, uh, the City of Suffolk, will speak first. And then we're going to have Mr. Don Roy from the uh, Alawite Board of Commissioners. And uh, Mr. Chris Cornwell, is Chris here? From Southampton County? Okay, thanks, Chris. Mayor Duman. Yep. Put it down just a tad. So good. Uh, thank you, Eric, for that introduction. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. And as Eric mentioned, this is a great day in the neighborhood. And on top of that, it's our neighborhood. When I was watching Mr. Roberts, it was his neighborhood. But today, it's right here, right here in Suffolk, is where the city's getting kicked off. And it's been mentioned during the last several years. We, we became acutely aware that access to affordable high-speed internet service was no longer a luxury, but a necessity. COVID-19 compelled our students to learn virtually and required businesses to operate remotely. This, in addition to the everyday needs of our citizens as they utilize the internet to purchase goods and services, as well as obtain information that they use in their daily lives. Our city in particular, due to its vast landmass, was challenged in expanding this much needed service to our rural community. This project will substantially bolster educational capabilities and spur economic growth. The Vatican Grant Project is going to connect citizens and businesses that until now have been limited in their capabilities with little or no connectivity. But these issues are going to be a concern of the past. Our partnership with Charter Communications, Isle of Wight, Southampton Counties collectively contributed $14.5 million to the $22.7 million VATI grant that will allow our localities to be universally connected. This is a feat that not many localities in the Commonwealth of Virginia or even in the country can proclaim. I'm pleased to stand here in good company with federal, state, and local officials as well as representatives from the Department of Housing, Community Development, Charter Communications, the Hampton Roads Planning District Commission, all of White County, and Southampton County. None of this would be happening today without the regionalism, commitment, and cooperation exhibited by all those involved. It is a true testament to what can be accomplished when there's a unified effort to resolve an issue of mutual concern. Once again, I am absolutely ecstatic that the Southeastern Virginia region is at this stage of providing high-speed broadband access and connectivity. And at this time, I'll turn it over to our Board of Supervisors from Alloway County. Thank you very much. Thank you. Fresh out of North Carolina this morning, but it's so good to be here today. And I just, before I get into really acknowledging all those that have helped us in this project that is going forward, I just really want to say, you know, this represents vision, collaboration, and ground level hard work. And so I really tip my hat to everyone and all of our communities coming together at this time. I'm Don Rosie. Uh, I'm on the Ottawa White County Board of Supervisors. And on behalf of my fellow board members, I'd like to acknowledge and publicly thank all the federal, 
state, regional, and local officials, as well as our private sector partners who have played a role in making this day possible. I certainly want to thank Mayor uh, Duman, the Suffolk City Council, and Suffolk City staff for serving as our host today. Thank you very much, sir. I also want to thank my fellow board members for embracing the vision of universal broadband coverage for Idlewhite County. This will be life-changing for many of our residents, particularly those who reside in some of the more rural portions of our county. You know, as we do this and as we move forward, we realize that we're opening up a door for small businesses, we're op opening up the door for our parents, assisting their students and their children, and we're just, we're really just tipping that door wide open and more opportunity is coming with that. The opportunity to start a home business, to work remotely from home, or simply to have their children access school assignments from home have been unfulfilled dreams of our residents for far too long. I am proud that our partnership with the Hampton Roads Planning District Commission, the City of Suffolk, Southampton County, and Charter Communications will make those dreams a reality. Universal Broadband makes information accessible to rural communities like this and will undoubtedly level the playing field for rural residents by giving them the power to access data from around the world from the comfort of their home. The people who live in Isle White County, the residents of places like Rushmere, Smithfield, Carrollton, Windsor, and Carswell will have the same access to information, goods, and services as someone who lives in New York, Los Angeles, or Washington, D.C. This demonstrates the power of partnerships and shows what can happen when governments, communities, and the private sector work together toward a common goal we can all benefit from. I want to give a special thank you to Senator Warner, Senator Kane, Congressman Scott, Delegate Brewer, and the other members of our General Assembly delegation for the support of this effort. None of this would have been possible without their significant infusions of federal and state funding. Again, I want to thank everyone who has helped us to get this point in the process. We look forward to working with our partners over the coming months to ensure that our communities have universal broadband coverage. At this time, we'd like to introduce our next speaker, Chris Cornwell, member of the Board of Supervisors of Southampton County. Thank you for that introduction, sir, and, and good morning, and again, welcome. I, my name is Chris Cornwell, and I am a proud resident of Southampton County and also serve as a representative on their uh, Board of Supervisors, and I'm pleased to be with each and every one of you here this morning. Um, I'd like to thank all of our federal, state, and local officials for helping make this day happen. Um, without them, it could not be possible, and I thank, a special thank you to our Suffolk City Manager, Mr. Al Moore, as well as Mayor Michael Duman and your staff for making this all possible here for us today. Um, I'm honored to be here today to celebrate the start of this broadband project. It's vital to the Southampton County Board of Supervisors to extend broadband access to our enti entire county. Quality of life, economic development, education, and health care benefits are essential to our county residents. Without the Department of Housing and Community Development, Virginia Telecommunication Initiative Grant, in our partnership with Charter Communications, the Hampton Roads Planning District Commission, Isle of Wight County, and the City of Suffolk, this project would not have been even remotely feasible. We were able to come together and develop a large-scale project that will benefit more than 22,000 passings within these communities. These passings include homes, businesses, future development areas, and community organizations, all exceedingly critical to the entire region. Between the three localities represented here today, there are more than 750 farms that make up 33% of the total land area being served. The individuals that own and work these farms will now have the same access to broadband that people in the cities experience. This development will only lead to improvements in production through implementation of improved GPS functions, data sharing from seed and fertilizer dealers, and improved record keeping. Access to broadband will give our agricultural workers a level playing field with neighboring communities and states. We cannot wait to see where access takes Virginia as well as our county's largest private industry, agriculture. With the assistance of federal and state funding, this project was made possible, as we've heard previously today. We thank you all for the work you did to fight to make broadband access a top priority for our region. 
the access to broadband will undoubtedly have an immeasurable impact on the lives of residents in all three of these communities. In closing, I'd like to thank everyone who has had a hand in this process. We will continue to work with our partners to make sure universal coverage of this essential fourth utility is reached in all three of these communities. At this time, I'd like to introduce our next speaker who served on the Broadband Advisory Council and now serves on House Appropriations who now serves on the House Appropriations Committee in our Commonwealth that assisted in securing the funding that has made this rural broadband possible, Delegate Emily Brewer. Thank you. Well, we have finally arrived. What a wonderful day, day this is for Suffolk, Galloway, and Southampton. Um, I am so honored to be in front of so many people here that really have made a strong commitment to broadband. Years ago, uh, we would have thought that it was uh, not a vital service, and now we know much different. Um, you know, a hundred years ago, electricity was an option in a home. People 10 years ago used to think broadband was an option, and now we know that is no longer the case. Collaboration was key to this. I cannot thank the Board of Supervisors, Mayor Duman, Supervisor Rosie, Supervisor Cornwell, and all of the members of all of those boards that collaborated. They often say there's a joke of three attorneys in a room, you know, you might end up with an argument. <laughs> well, you have three awesome localities that came together that were able to truly collaborate and put the needs of their citizens above all else. And, and so thank you all for doing the hard work. Also DHCD, um, the Hamptons Planning District Commission and all the other stakeholders that are here that truly have collaborated at such a high level to make sure that this springboard of opportunity uh, in our communities is going to become a reality. Today is an opening of a chapter though. It's not, we haven't checked this off the list. This is just the start. Um, this year I was appointed as the chair of the community Communications Technology and Innovation Committee, which is ironic because at my own home, I don't have broadband yet. So hopefully I think I'm gonna to talk to my board of supervisor and we'll get that soon. Um, but the reality is, is that we have people now that their lives have been changed during this pandemic. We have people, children, adults, those at telework. Uh, this has affected our life in a way that now we know truly this is a necessity and it's vital to our success. So I'm so very excited that we recognize that. Um, this year, I also was added to the Rural Virginia Board of Trustees. And you know what this does for our communities? This provides a springboard of opportunity when we are marketing ourselves for workforce development, for economic development, for rural prosperity, job growth. This is just the start of our springboard of success, and I'm so very grateful for that. Uh, in closing, I know this is a wonderful day and it's really, really hot out here. But when you're going to talk to your friends and your neighbors or other business owners, tell them about today. Share the excitement and the success that Suffolk, Isle of Wight, and Southampton are having will continue to have because of this groundbreaking today. Uh, move forward and talk to other businesses. Talk to other corporations. Talk to your friends and neighbors that are thinking about opening a business and tell them about the opportunities that this truly presents for our community. So thank you all so much for being here. And I think I'm gonna turn it back over to you. I didn't do that. <laughs> Delegate Brewer didn't do it. Not good glue. So next we're going to hear from Delegate Jenkins, uh, Clinton Jenkins. He's going to come and provide some comments for us. Good morning. It is still morning, I believe. Uh, I want to thank all of our partners. Uh, all the various entities that have come together to, uh, to make this a, a reality. It was during the early stage of the coronavirus um, virus pandemic but that Virginia was forced to close businesses and was forced to grapple with the need of broadband access. And during 2020, it was Governor Northam who stated that broadband is today like electricity was generations ago. When you have it, you can get ahead. 
High speed internet is essential for students to connect to in education, businesses to connect to the wider world, and citizens to connect to work, including healthcare, and the list just goes on and on. I remember when Miss Betsy Watson, she kind of stands out for me, when she called me uh, living in Whaleville and she sent me numerous emails about the limited access to broadband. And her concern was that the cables came right up to her neighborhood, but didn't go down her street. And she had to leave her home and go to businesses, uh, different places to access broadband to get her work done. And later we discovered that over 200,000 students, K through 12 students, and over 60,000 college students in Virginia lack access to broadband. It was uh, Mr. Lamurray, uh, Ms. Cook, working with broadband providers and the public school systems, our superintendent, school board members, and public housing to get those communities access to broadband and make it affordable. It was discovered, believe it or not, that Charter Spectrum has the highest rates in the Hampton Roads area. So Mr. Moore, uh, I recall being a former contract administrator for the shipyard. It was my responsibility to assure the best and lowest cost for our customers. So uh, Charter Spectrum, they informed me that their contract is, is up for renewal. So I know we're gonna work on that out of accountability and responsibility to our constituents. But what we're accomplishing here today is a step closer to closing the digital divide. It connects people, employers, healthcare providers, educators, and equip Virginians to compete on the glo in the global world. Uh, through this partnership, we are laying the foundation the and the groundwork uh, has been launched to connect people and provide affordable uh, connectivity programs. And I'm thankful that we've already invested over $700 million in Connecting Virginia. Thank you so much. Well, thank you, everybody. Um, so let's uh, let's get to the fun part. It's time to throw some dirt around, right? Uh, so Randa, I think what we're going to do is um, we're going to uh, go ahead and ask if you're a local elected official from one of the three localities that are partners, if you would please come on up and ran see Randa here, and she'll get you set up with a shovel. I'd like to start, whether you spoke today or not, come on up. Uh, from there, we'd love to have our any General Assembly member in the audience. Please, please come on up. And we can share some shovels. So if you're a uh, staff member or a representative from one of our federal delegation, please come on up. Please come on up. Our senators, our congressional reps, we'd love to have you up here with us.